three Pete. The University of Delaware men's lacrosse team is using that popular sports phrase as its mantra this spring as the Blue Hens head into the upcoming 2012 season beaming with optimism. After posting an 11-7 mark, storming through the CAA tournament and almost knocking off highly regarded Duke in the NCAA tournament a year ago, this year's band of Blue Hens has every reason to believe that it can achieve its goal of capturing a third straight Colonial Athletic Association title and making a return visit to the NCAA tournament. Veteran Delaware head coach Bob Schillinglaw enters his 34th season at the helm of the Blue Hens and starts the season needing just one win to reach the coveted 300 win mark reached by just two other active Division I coaches. Thanks to a productive fall season and some strong preseason practices, you can be sure that he'll have his Blue Hens primed to make it another strong run at the league title. It's all about the conference. You know, we uh, uh, once we get to the conference, the light switch turns on for us. Uh, we've been very successful the past couple of years. You know, back-to-back uh, -back conference titles. Now we're looking for a three-peat. That's our main goal. Despite losing five starters to graduation, the Blue Hens returned plenty of firepower to the lineup in 2012, especially at attack, where Delaware returns nearly 80% of its offense from a year ago. Seniors Grant Claycow and Eric Smith tied for the team lead with 45 points each last season, and junior Sean Finnegan was a solid goal scorer, netting 21 on the season. Schilling Law is also anxious to get a look at promising newcomers Tom Holland and Mark Yetter. It's a really nice group. I mean, they're, they're really hard workers. Grant Kayla Cal uh, kind of leads that group. He was tied for a leading scorer with Eric Smith last year. Um, explosive, just recently got drafted for the MLL. Um, you know, he's kind of the go-to guy, if you want to say, you know, out of any of those guys. Uh, he's certainly capable of putting the team on his shoulders and, and, and making things happen. The offense will center around the speedy All-American candidate Clay Cow, a second-team All-CAA selection a year ago who possesses outstanding passing skills with the ability to find the net. He dished out a team-high 30 assists a year ago and is the motor that makes the UD attack unit run. We expect to win the CAA every year now, and uh, we want to take the next step. We want to make the Final Four, and we want to win a national championship. He's that type of player, just the level of play that he gives us inspires everybody else. The Blue Hen midfield unit is a good mix of veterans and promising young players and welcomes the return of veterans Carter Bloor and John Austin, who both returned for their senior years after missing significant time due to injuries early on last season. Austin is still nursing an Achilles injury and won't return until after the season starts. Schillinglaw will look toward high-scoring middle Nick Deschenko, who led the unit with 18 goals a year ago, to provide some offensive punch while also depending on returnees John Mills, Connor McRoy, Dan Keene, and Andrew Tannenberger. Freshman Jeff Heath leads the newcomers. Defensively, the Hens must replace All-American Pat Dowling, but the return of several strong, talented players will make opponents work for everything they get. The group is led by the likes of senior Tim Langmaid, junior Connor Fitzgerald, and sophomore Jared Bowe. Langmaid, a starter in 2010, returns after missing all of last season with a back injury. Schilling Law is also high on 6'4", 210-pound newcomer Brandon Worrell. Plenty of strong support comes from defensive middies Garrett Johnson, Dom Sebastiani, and Justin Martinelli, and from long stick middies Taylor Burns, John Bastone, and Will Wojciechowski. Burns, a co-captain, will play a key role for the Hens once again this spring. A strong leader who can add a scoring punch with a long stick, Coach Schillinglaw calls Burns one of the most intelligent on-the-field players he has ever coached. I mean, I think we're ranked fourth in our conference, you know, out of the top 25 in the nation. I think that kind of gets at us a little bit. You know, we've won the last two not, or last two CAA championships, and we're kind of wondering why we're not ranked in the top 20 or you know top 10. But I think that's how it's been since I've been here, and that kind of always gives us that little edge come tournament time that you know we're out to prove something. He'll spark us in terms of uh, getting the defense going, creating transition, and next thing you know, he's scoring a goal himself, and, and, and he plays both ends of the field extremely well. The Hens are in good hands at the X, where All-CA face-off specialist Dan Cooney returns healthy following off-season surgery. Plenty of depth is on hand, though, with the likes of Jackson Keeler, Mike Berlowski, and freshman Tyler Barberich, who played for the USA Under-19 team last summer. Despite the loss of two-year starter and team captain Noah Fosner in goal, Schillinglaw is excited about the prospects he has available to handle chores between the pipes. The battle for the starting job is still up for grabs heading into the opener with redshirt freshman Chris Herbert and Bo Brady as well as freshman Brett Anton all getting strong looks. As two-time defending CAA champions, you can be sure the Blue Hens will have a nice big target on their backs throughout the season as they take on the likes of Hofstra, Towson, Drexel, Penn State, UMass and St. Joseph's in conference play. 
But if the past two seasons are any indication, look for Schilling Law's squad to play steady and peak come tournament time. If they can do that, the three-peat chance will be heard loud and clear in Newark. Back-to-back -back conference titles. Now we're looking for a three-peat. That's our main goal. And once, uh, once May comes around, we want to be right in the thick of things. And it seems like that first week in May, we, we, we really step it up another notch. And, and hopefully we will this year as well.